Hello, welcome to another video. Here I will uh, select an article and will read and and try to summarize article with you. And I choose this article. Um, I want to choose this article, but I mentioned it before, so I read it before. I want to choose an article that I didn't read before. So this it seems very interesting and also it includes the topic of um, educational sciences interesting interestingly so the topic is experimenting with spirituality analyzing the gut gene in non measures laboratory laboratory course so the American Society for Cell Biology um, science education journal so I think the article is about education so references linking genes to complex human traits such as personality type or disease sus susceptibility abound in the news and media and popular culture in his book the God gene how fate is hardwired into our genes Dean Hammer argues that a variation in the uh, in this gene plays a ro role in one's openness to spiritual experiences so they they use the genetic study and also personality tests and they ask students to to test the hypothesis they ask students to um, conduct this reaction to replicate a portion of their genes and they analyzed three polymorphic sites in the sequence of these products and then they assess they use t tests to look at the association between them and as a result they reported high levels of engagement with the project citing in particular its personal nature as motivating their interest so actually they're not really testing the hypothesis actually they're testing how students uh, enjoy um, this um, the concept of God, investigating God gene and actually they're, they're not really investigating God gene and probably it's a complex quite a complex human trait and probably not the term not only determined by genetics so uh, in the introduction they they summarize the, the gene and its relation with personality and they mentioned the course obviously um, setting the foundation for project is mentioned here before lab and isolation of DNA and uh, PCR tests so they also mention it like how they conduct it I guess I don't know how they use it to support their educational uh, results. I have no idea about it. It says genotype AA, genotype C. Data were generated with Excel t test. Two sample assuming unequal var variance. Um, okay. So it's quite interesting. So students also appreciated the opportunity to do it. So they comment class, they comment teacher that it's it's good to conduct this experiment. So this is the conclusion. The God Gene project should prove adaptable to other types of courses and institutional settings. Although my focus was the non-major students. The science behind the gut gene is sufficiently complex that it would be informative to biology majors as well. Indeed, the project has been used in an upper-level genetics course for biology majors. Although significant resources are required, the project is not prohibitively costly and doesn't use equipment beyond that normally available in laboratories equipped for molecular biology. The major expenses are the sequencing reactions, the PCR beads, and the kit for extracting the bond from 
agarose, some of which could be sub sub substituted with more inexpensive alternatives. The experiments and discussions could fit within the time constraints of typical laboratory careers. Finally, the laboratory experiments proved technically feasible even for students inexperienced in molecular biology. Each student was able to isolate DNA from his or her cells, amplify a portion of the gene, and obtain readable sequence information. The robust nature of the labs should make the project easily transferable to the other settings. So, as a conclusion, in one sentence, I think two sentences, students strongly agreed that the God Gene Project increased their interest in genetics. It helped students increase knowledge and interest, stimulates an act active, crit critical, and confident engagement with science as it touches daily, daily, daily life. Okay, that's interesting. So, that's quite a useful study, and um, it it give there there's there's a practical message here. So, instead of using hypothetical, uh, hypothetical and unclear, um, uh, instead of making students memorize those, they can just. Uh, um, help them to conduct the experiment with um, with the with such idea of analyzing the gut gene. In fact, they're not actually uh, able to do it. I mean, actually, you, they cannot just write a research paper on gut gene because actually it's so complex thing and it's even even a even morally incorrect and and um, so that's why I think uh, this is worth to read this article. Thanks for watching this uh, video and I will share the uh, link of the article in the description. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.